Donald Trump hit for the cycle. You don't understand baseball, what the cycle is. Well, I'm going to explain it to you. It's if you, uh, you play a game, you hit a home run, you hit a triple, you hit a double, and you hit a single. That's right. He hit for the cycle. And I'm not talking, obviously, in baseball. I'm talking in an interview that he just did. It is debate week, and we're going to be going over various topics over the course this week. I want to, um, I was blown away, to be honest with you. And everyone knows me listening to this thing. I'm an equal opportunity basher here on the program. Um, highly critical. Uh, we discussed as of late the idea that was floating around out there in regards to uh, replacing the income tax here in the United States with tariffs and how ridiculous uh, that is. But in this um, interview that he did, it's on the, and I recommend it, it's, it was on the All In Podcast. That's the name of it, the All In Podcast. Um, I actually retweeted it on my Twitter account at, at Chris Marco if you wanted to check it out. Um, it's a little over an hour long, and they go over a myriad of topics. And this is, this is the best I've seen Donald Trump in a long time. And honestly, this is the medium that he should actually put himself out on. This is better than rallies. I know some people love these rallies. I I don't particularly care for the rallies. For whatever reason it may be, Donald Trump tries to he tries to turn himself into a stand-up comic at some of these rallies. I mean, I understand going out there and again he he stays on for for too long. And he drones on, and then he sometimes loses his train of thought. This was brilliant. He had, um, yeah, I said, yeah, four uh, highly intelligent business people. Again, it's the All In podcast asking him questions on a myriad of topics. And again, we talked about tariffs. It wasn't eliminating the income tax and replacing it. He was talking about utilizing tariffs in the same way that we do. The same way that we've talked about it here on the program, we want free trade, but we want it fair. Someone's going to slap a hundred dollar tariff on our items. We slap a hundred dollar tariff on their items. Perfect. That makes sense. Makes sense. Again, everything. Uh, another one of the, the best ideas, and this is something that we've talked about here on this show going back 15, 20 years, something that never made any sense. No sense to me whatsoever is that why in the world are we educating the world's kids? I got people coming from all over the world, sending their kids over here to go to college. And then what we do is we ship them out when they're done. And again, he, he said, you know what I want to do is I want to sna- you know, basically sta- staple a green card to anybody who comes to this country and gets a college degree, whether it be a four year degree or a two year degree. That's fantastic. Again, why wouldn't we want to keep and bring in the best and the brightest here in our country? Uh, an excellent step in the right direction. Um, across the board in, in the entire interview, one good thing after other. And again, I, I want, I, I want you to go and listen to it. And again, it was his tone wasn't combative, um, highly intelligent conversation for an hour. And, and again, I'm sorry. I don't even know why people even watch the mainstream cable news networks and this nonsense. And quite frankly, if I was a Trump campaign, I would limit it. No, you don't need to do a town hall with Sean Hannity. Okay. This was much better. It was highly intelligent. I, I looked the last time I checked, the thing had almost uh, 25 million views. And I'm sorry, it's checkmate. It, it's checkmate. If he conducts himself, in this way, throughout the rest of the campaign, uh, he'll win. And, and quite frankly, it won't even be close. The, uh, the abortion situation, I'm going to talk about that topic. It's got a topic I don't like to cover here on the program, but we're going to do it this week. They asked him about abortion bans. He's like, whoa, 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 whoa. You know, in essence, he's like, I did what I said I was going to do. I was going to get rid of Roe versus Wade and throw it back to the states. Now it's up to the states. And he said, it's up to the voters. They said the voters in Ohio went a more liberal route, and that was their choice. Very good. Tenth Amendment constitutional stuff that was out there. For whatever reason it may be, I, I don't know when he goes on some of these cable networks, what, you know, he gets 
overstimulated or all excited. And, and this was great. Basically, you know, saying what he had done, juxtaposition to Joe Biden, didn't go crazy attacking Joe Biden. There was no name calling in this thing. There was no one liners or anything like that. It was purely intelligent. Again, I, I hope, I hope that um, he goes into the debate. Uh, again, I'm going to be honest with you, I'm, I'm kind of dreading it. Did a radio interview today. Hey, well, looking forward to the debate this week. I'm like, no, no, I'm not really. I'm kind of, I'm kind of dreading it. It's like fear and trepidation here. I, cool, man. You have to be cool. Biden's doing his prep. He's at Camp David. I'm sure they're coming up with all. They're going to do everything and anything that they can to irritate him, to get under his skin, to get him to pop off at the mouth. Don't. Don't. He plays it, man. I, you know what? You want to play that? That's fine. I, you know, I'm, my mother told me never argue with idiots because they only bring you down to their level and the conversation's not going to go anywhere. So if you want to throw your one liners, have at it. OK, your writers did a great job. Give them credit. I'd rather talk about the issues. He does that. It's over. It's over. Checkmate. Done. But again, I got to give credit where credit is due. Highly recommend it. It's in the uh, all in podcast. Again, I, I retweeted it. Uh, there at uh, at Chris Marco, you can check it out. Yeah, I'm back on the Twitter. Back on the, I, I've got my well, the X, it's the X now. Uh, I got my account back. It was some sort of issue for years. I couldn't log in. Whatever it may be, check it out. Highly intelligent conversation. And uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Trump had a good day. He hit for the cycle. Watchdog on Wall Street dot com.